Hello folks and welcome to this new episode of the Plug Data course. Today we can finally talk about frequency modulation. I say finally because FM together with phase modulation is one of the most beautiful modulation synthesis because you can recreate and reproduce really really complex and spectrally rich sounds. Frequency modulation is achieved when we modulate the frequency of an oscillator at audio rate. Here we can create our modulator and for the carrier frequency well we can use a constant signal so we can use a sig and we can define the carrier frequency at this point we need to sum the constant frequency for the carrier and the modulator we can then take the sum output and we send it to the oscillator that will produce actual fm and this is the core patch of any basic fm synthesis at this point we can specify the modulator frequency so we can use this number box this is our mod frequency let's take a listen so here we can set the frequency to 110 well, this doesn't sound like an FM. The reason is our modulator is producing values in the range minus one to one. So we are modulating the frequency from 220. We're bringing it down to 2019. Then we're bringing it up to 2021. So what we need to do is to increase the range of this oscillator. To do so, we can simply multiply it by any number. Let's multiply it by 100. In this way, what we are increasing is the frequency deviation. This is one of those words that you need to remember. This is frequency deviation and simply defines how far are we pushing the carrier frequency away from its center position, which in this example is 220 hertz. Frequency deviation is expressed in hertz and it's precisely this value that defines how energy is distributed across partials. Now we can use a phaser set to a really low frequency because I want to automate the frequency deviation so we can inspect the spectrum analyzer and see what happens as the frequency deviation increases. We can multiply its output by 1000. We can send it to the frequency deviation and we can use a signal to float to take a look at the number here. Maybe we can use integer. I don't want all those rapid decimal values. Great. Oh, and I changed the carrier frequency to 440. The modulator frequency instead defines the position of sidebands across the spectrum. So let's set the frequency deviation to 100 and let's change the modulation frequency only. So we multiply our phaser by 900 and then we add 1000 because we don't want a frequency of 0 Hz. This is our frequency, modulator frequencies, this is the value. The last parameter I want to introduce for this video is the modulation index. The modulation index, also called I, is the relationship between the frequency deviation and the modulation frequency. Well, defines the relationship between these two parameters. And we can find this value dividing the frequency deviation by the modulation frequency. So let's create float box for the frequency deviation. Let's use this division. So I want to divide the frequency deviation by the modulator frequency before I need a trigger bank float. So our modulation frequency goes here. 
the float goes here in the called inlet the bank goes here to trigger the uh, frequency deviation and this is our modulation index mod index If we had to build a synthesizer out of this patch, we would have as usable tweakable parameters the modulation frequency and the frequency deviation. This though it's not the most common choice. What we want to do is we want to change the modulation frequency and the modulation index instead of the frequency deviation. And of course we also have the carrier frequency. What we can do to calculate the frequency deviation is very simple actually so frequency deviation is equal to the modulation index multiplied by the modulation frequency we can take the modulation index we can bring these to the left corner so here modulation index and i want to multiply it by the modulation frequency at this point we need as always the trigger bank float because I want the modulation index which is routed into the called inlet to execute this operation also when it's changed alone so the float goes here but the bank to trigger the multiplication goes here so modulation frequency modulation index great so out of this super simple patch we can calculate the frequency deviation and we can send this value to this multiplication and i want to visualize the number box here great oh and i almost forgot to send the modulation frequency to its modulator of course having the modulation index as a usable parameter well it's a pretty handy solution because we can choose between decimal values so really smooth transition between timbres and integer values part two of this video is available on my patreon page we'll dive deeper into fm and i'll show you how to build more advanced fm based patches thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video ciao ciao